And then question three on the review sheet on the tree diagrams uh, is an old, a classic old exam question. This was years ago. Um, but it's, again, what do you do first? And the first thing is we're splitting these probabilities in either they're diseased or they're not diseased. So we need to actually have here, this is a diseased fish and this is a fish that's okay, diseased or fine. And the chance of it being diseased is 0.6. So the chance of it being fine must be 0.4. And then we're going to take a test on it. And they're either going to be diseased or it's going to be inconclusive or it's going to be fine, diseased, inconclusive or fine, no disease. And we've put these probabilities on. So the diseased fish, look, most of the diseased fishes will come up with a disease, but there's sometimes mistakes. There's sometimes errors in the tests. Even if the, the fish is fine, on the odd occasion, the test will say that you are got the problem. Sometimes it'll be inconclusive and sometimes it will be right and say that you are fine. And we'll count those answers again, timesing along the rows. 0.6 times 0.75 is 0.45. Working all, each of these out going down. And at the end, adding them all up, checking that they all equal one. They do all equal when we finish it. And it's only now, I didn't even show you the questions. So now I'm going to scroll down the screen and see if this will help us answer any of these questions then. So question one says, um, a fish is selected at random. Find the probability that the fish has the disease. It has the disease and it says it's diseased. So has the disease and it says it's diseased is, is going to be 0.45. Um, Part two, the test concludes that the fish has the disease. Well, there's two possibilities. We could have been right, or we could have actually made a mistake there. Put those two together, and we're getting a 0.47. The test gives a correct conclusion. Well, it's right there, and it's also right down here, isn't it? That That's saying no disease there. Put those two together, and that's 0.77, the correct conclusion. Three fish, all with the disease, are tested. Find the probability that the test concludes that two fish are diseased and one is non-diseased. Ah, now this is a bit different in that we already know that they've got the disease. So we already know we're up in this box here. Um, little mean going back to that again. And what do we want? We want two to be diseased. Two to be diseased. So we want 0.75 twice and the other one to be not diseased. Not diseased was 0 .0 0 0.1, wasn't it? That one there, 0 0.1. Um, times all those together, but that is disease, disease, non-disease, and we could do it around different ways as well. We've got three different ways of doing it, so it's going to be three times that. I make that 0 0.169. Um, last one then. Find the probability that a fish is diseased, given that it concluded it was. This sort of really goes back to what we were doing earlier. Perhaps these are in the wrong order. Um, we know it's diseased at 0.45, but not all the ones that had that answer. Actually, we sometimes had these saying it as well. So it's 0.45 out of 0 0.47. 0 0.47 is all the ones that the test gave yes to. This one here, the 0.45, is all the ones that it was right for. And so it's got 95% of them are actually got the problem, 0.957.